Hello and welcome students. Today in this lecture we are going ahead. In last lecture we have discussed about Lamy's theorem. Now in today's lecture we will solve the examples based on Lamy's theorem. But before that we have to solve free body diagram. Now what is actually the free body diagram and what is the solution? Without knowing the free body diagram you cannot start the numericals or without knowing the free body diagram you cannot apply the Lamy's theorem also. Okay, so let us discuss in this figure. You can see what is given in the figure. In the figure, it is given that there is a vertical wall. This is the vertical wall. Okay, and to this vertical wall, from the upper point, from this point, a string, straight string is connected at the center of this sphere. Center of the sphere is point C. Here, the angle is theta which is the angle between the string and the vertical wall. So theta can be varied when the sphere is moved along with the wall or moved away from the wall. Okay. Now what is W? W is the weight of the sphere which is always vertically downward. So remember two main things. What is that? This is the free void diagram. Now how to draw free void diagram? First of all, you have to find three concurrent forces which are acting at the center of the sphere. You can see at the center of this sphere, vertical weight W in the downward direction is acting. So this is the vertical weight W. Now, when the sphere, if you move the sphere in the right direction and then after you will remove the force, then the sphere is going in the reverse direction. It will collide with the wall at this point and the opposite force at this point will act in this direction. This opposite force or this colliding force is known as reaction of the wall. Okay, so this force is known as reaction of the form, wall. So from point C, this is the reaction of the wall going in the right direction. So these two forces are ready now. Weight W always in the vertically downward direction. Reaction. Remember my sentence. What is reaction? Reaction is always passing from the center of the sphere and always starting from the contact point okay so here is the contact point and from this contact point reaction is passing from the center of the sphere last third and most important thing tension force whenever the string is there in the picture then the tensile force due to weight of the sphere is acting along the upward direction or along the string in towards the fixed point always okay so this is the tension t towards the fixed point of the string clear and the theta if you draw let us change the color if you draw a vertical line like this from the center of the sphere then this wall is parallel to this line so this is the z formation and the theta theta this theta will be the alternate angle so this is the theta which is alternate angle. So here is the free body diagram completed. So what is free body diagram? If you want to define it, then for a given body, if supports are removed, supports are removed means what? Wall is removed, string is removed, and only forces acting on the center of the sphere are drawn. So forces acting on the body and support reactions are shown. The diagram so obtained is known as free body diagram. So here a wall is removed, sphere is removed and the string is also removed. Now only the forces are available at point C. So this type of diagram is known as free body diagram. But W is equal to weight of the sphere, T equal to tension in the string and R equal to reaction of the wall. So this is free body diagram. Now this type of free body diagram will be used while applying Lamy's theorem. Let us see example number one which is similar to this. You can see that theta is now 30 degree and what we have to find? Find tension in the rope and reaction of the wall. So this is the tension T going upward towards fixed point and the reaction of the wall will be passing from the point C. So this is the reaction of the wall passing from the center. This is the tensile force T and this is vertical load 10 Newton. So this is the free body diagram. Now, 30 degree angle will be drawn over here. If you draw a vertical line, this is the wall line. 
then here it is 30. So Z formation will draw 30 over here. So remaining angle will be 60 with horizontal. You can imagine this. This angle is 90 degree. The lower angle is also 90 degree. So now all the angles are ready with the help of free body diagram. So now these three forces means vertical weight downward 10 Newton which is given in the data. Tensile force T is always acting upwards in the direction of fixed point of rope. This is the reaction of the wall R. Now we have to draw free body diagram that is completed. Now we have to apply Lamy's theorem in this figure to obtain the required forces. Let us see how. See the same figure over here. Now for these three forces, 10 Newton result sorry reaction R and tension T. Just apply Lamy's theorem. Now what is Lamy's theorem? If you take force T, force T over here, then in the division, the angle should be opposite of force T. So this is the force T. Then the opposite angle will be 90 degree. So here it is T upon sine 90. Second force is R. So here it is R. Then the opposite force, opposite force concentrate now. This is the reaction or resultant R. Then the opposite force means, opposite angle means in between the other two forces. So other two forces are T and 10. So this is the total angle which will be 60 plus 90. So total will be 150. So sine 150 is there. And the last force is 10 Newton. Then the opposite angle means angle between other two forces will be 30 plus 90 which is 120. So 10 upon sine 120. Now you compare first with third. And then after compare second with third, you will get sine 90 equal to 1, sine 150 equal to 0 0.5 and sine 120 equal to 0.866 from your calcium. Comparing one by one, you will get the answer of T equal to 11.55 Newton means tension in the rope is now available and reaction of the wall will be 5.77 Newton. So this is basic numerical for the Lamis theorem. Let us see one more numerical. To understand the theorem. This is example number 4. What is given in this? An electric lamp in the street is having 50 Newton weight. So you can see this is the point B from which electric lamp in the street is suspended having weight 50 Newton. It is suspended by two wires of 4 meter and 3 meter length. So this is the wire which is having length 3 meter. This is another wire which is having length 4 meter. And from the ceiling, this is the ceiling AC. From this ceiling, two wires were suspended, which is having weight 50 Newton. Now, the distance between two fixed points are 5 meter from which two wires were suspended. So, this is the distance 5 meter from which two wires were suspended. Find out tension in both the wires. So, we have to find tension in this wire as well as tension in this wire. So, here it is tension T1. Here it is tension T2. Okay. Why the tension? Because in the string, oh, there is always tension towards the fixed point T1 and T2 as discussed in the previous numerical. This is the weight 50 Newton. Now, how these angles are coming? Here, the sides are 3, 5 and 4 meter. You can see the sides are 3, 5 and 4. Means they are forming triplet, Pythagoras triplet. 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. It means 5 is the hypotenuse. So opposite of the 5, this angle will be 90 degree. Okay. So this is the right angle triangle. So with the help of trigonometry, what is 10 theta 1? You can see this is theta 1. So what is 10 theta? Opposite upon adjacent. So opposite of the theta 1 is 4 meter and adjacent is 3 meter. So it is 10 theta 1 equal to 4 by 3, which is 1.333. Now what is 10 theta 2? It is equal to again opposite upon adjacent, so 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 is equal to 0 0.75. So by doing 10 inverse, you will get theta 1 equal to 53.12. And again by doing 10 inverse, you will get theta 2 equal to 36.86. So these are the angles theta 1 and theta 2 respectively, which are drawn over here. Now, how the angles are coming over here? Remember shortcut method. At point B, you just draw a horizontal line which is this dotted line, horizontal line. Now, by doing this horizontal line, this ceiling will be parallel to that line. Now, with the help of alternate angles between two parallel lines, you can find that this is the Z formation. So, if this angle is theta, 
then this angle is also theta 2 this is theta 2 this is also theta 1 similarly reverse z this is the reverse z you can see let us change the color this is the green color z okay so this is theta 1 so this will be also theta 1 so theta 1 will be over here 53.12 which is calculated earlier and this is theta 2 36.86 which is calculated over here and the middle angle is 90 degree which is in between t1 and t2 as shown in this figure 90 degree so now the angles are ready let us see how the lamis theorem are applicable to find t1 and t2 let us discuss in this figure so now if you take t1 then the opposite angle will be this 36.86 plus 90 correct so it is sine 126.86 what is t2 so opposite angle of the t2 will be this 53.12 plus 90 so 143.12 and the last force is weight 50 newton so opposite angle will be 90 so 50 upon sin 90 while you comparing this first with third second with third then the answer will be t1 equal to 40 newton and t2 is equal to 30 newton so this is very simple numerical in short in this type of numericals you have to understand the angles must angles are the technique which are applicable to Lamis theorem if angles are not available to you then the sum will be in trouble so just practice these numericals in the next lecture we will discuss with some more numericals till then revise this lecture thank you students and goodbye